ओके एन आई सेक्शन बीम वेव ऑफ थिकनेस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव एम एम एंड फ्लेज थिकनेस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम इट कैरीज अयर फोर्स ऑफ टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर एट अ सेक्शन टू स्टॉप केस द शेयर स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अक्रॉस द सेक्शन ओके सो दिस इज आई सेक्शन सिमेट्रिकल आई सेक्शन इट इज गिवन सो फॉर सिमेट्रिकल आई सेक्शन इट विल बी एक्स बार एंड वाई वन एंड वाई टू वाई टॉप एंड वाई बॉटम इट विल बी गेट सेम वैल्यू ओके सो वाई टॉप एंड वाई बॉटम इट विल बी टोटल थिकनेस इट विल बी थ्री फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई टू सो इट विल बी वन सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम ओके वाई टॉप एंड वाई बॉटम इट विल बी सेम बिकॉज ऑफ इट विल बी अनसिमेट्रिकल सेक्शन ओके so first of all calculate the moment of inertia for this section moment of inertia moment of inertia so for symmetrical i section moment of inertia it will be calculated so first of all consider it is this section it is a this section as a box section just assume this one it is box section up to here so this consider this one it is box section so box just assume this one i will draw here box so this one it will be box section okay so width of this box section it will be so i will be it will be calculated b into capital d cube by 12 small b capital b into d cube divided by 12 12 12 12 minus minus small b d cube by 12 small b into d cube by 12 small b d cube by 12 b d cube by 12 okay small b d cube by 12 okay small b d cube by 12 so here capital b it will be take capital b is equal to 200 mm 200 mm and capital d is equal to capital d is equal to it will be 350 mm 350 mm 350 mm okay so now small d it will be small d it will be okay so small b it will be small b it will be so this value it will be so width of this this one plus this one okay this one plus this one so it will be get how much so this b it will be i will write down here small b it will be 200 minus 200 minus 200 minus 12.5 Two hundred minus twelve point five. So it will be get how much? Two hundred minus twelve point five. So it will be one eighty seven point five. One eighty seven point five mm. One eighty seven point five mm. Okay. So it will be B. It will be one eighty seven point five. One eighty seven point five mm. Okay. Then cap small D. It will be two three hundred mm. Three hundred mm. Okay. So put all this value here for calculating the moment of inertia. So is equal to So small capital B it will be two hundred, two hundred into three fifty, three fifty, three fifty cube, three fifty cube divided by twelve, three fifty cube divided by twelve, divided by twelve, two hundred into three fifty cube divided by twelve, then it minus 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 small B it will be one eighty seven point five, it will be one eighty seven point Five into 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 width of wave it will be three hundred. So this height will be three hundred cube, three hundred cube divided by twelve, three hundred cube divided by twelve, divided by twelve, divided by twelve, okay, divided by twelve. It will be get i x x is equal to i x x is equal to So right on i x x is equal to so two hundred into three fifty cap three divided by twelve minus eighty seven point five into three hundred cap three divided by twelve. Okay, so two hundred into three fifty two hundred into three fifty cap. Three divided by twelve. So this value it will be first value three one seven three one seven point five eight three into ten raised to the power six 
then minus minus 187.5 187.5 into 300 cap 3 300 cap 3 divided by 12 so it will be 421 421.875 875 into 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 6 okay so it will be at ix6 is equal to write down ix6 is equal to is equal to 714 714.583 minus 421.875 it will be 292 to 92.708 708 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4 this one it is movement of inertia for i section okay symmetrical i section okay so i will note down this value here i x x is equal to i x x is equal to 292.708 708 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4 okay so this one it is moment of finish okay so now calculate now calculate shear stress okay so first of all shear stress shear stress at junction junction shear stress at junction between shear stress at junction between flange and wave flange and flange and wave by considering width by considering by considering width width b is equal to 200 mm b is equal to 200 mm okay so shear stress equation q1 so q1 is equal to it will be q1 is equal to sa y bar divided by ib sa y bar divided by ib yes into a a into y bar sa y bar divided by ib ib Okay. So say y bar divided by i into b. Okay. So here for flange, we'll take the shear force. It is given 200 kilonewton. So 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 in newton. So area it is area of this flange. Okay. So this h portion. Okay. So this one it is area of this 200 into it will be 25. Okay, 200 into 25. Only this portion it will be considered. So it will be 200 into 25. 200 into 25 into 200 into 25 into. So now, now, so, so it will be take this distance plus y bar. It will be this plus. Yes, this one it will be 150 150 plus 25 by 2 why but it is 150 plus 25 by 2 so 150 plus 25 by 2 so it will be get 162.5 so this one it, this value it is 162.5 okay so it will be take from the neutral axis so i will explain once again why bar value how you are taken here I will explain y bar is equal to y bar is equal to so 300 divided by 2 it will be 150 150 plus 150 plus plus 25 divided by 2 25 divided by 2 so this value it is 1.5 okay into i it will be where calculated it is 292.708708 into 10 raised to the power 6 10 to the power 6 mm cube then b it is width it will be considered for 200 mm 200 mm so it will be get q1 value q1 value okay shear stress okay so calculate this value 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 
200 into 25 into 162.5 divided by 292.708 into 10 raised to the power 6 into 200. So this value it will be 2.77, 2.77 MPA. That is means Newton per mm square. Now calculate shear stress. I will note down this Q1 value is equal to, Q1 is equal to it is 2.77 MPA, okay? So next value, Q2, shear stress at, shear stress, shear stress at junction, junction, between junction between between flange and web flange and web web by considering by considering by considering by considering width width that is b is equal to it will be 12.5 mm 12.5 mm Okay, 12.5. So Q2 is equal to, we will same terms all this. Q2 is equal to here, only here, 2.77, 2.77 into, so remove the 200 here, means 200 divided by, 200 divided by 12.5. So we need to add here 12.5, okay? So that's why 12.5, okay? So it will be get Q2 value. So 2.77 into 200 divided by 12.5, 12.5, okay? It will be get 2.77, so it is 200 divided by 12.5 into 2.77. So this value it is 40, 4.32, okay, 2.77, 2.77 into 200 divided by 12.5. It will be 44.32, 44.32 MPA, okay. So Q2 value is equal to, write down, Q2 is equal to 44.32, okay, 44.32 MPA, MPA, okay. So next find out Q additional, okay? So now we need to calculate Q additional, okay? Q additional, okay? So Q additional for that formula it will be used S into A into Y bar, Y bar divided by IB, IB. So for that here, I into B. I into B, okay. So which area will be considered for this? Yeah, just here, okay. So area of this portion only, okay. Area of this portion. Area of this portion. Area of this portion, okay. So this one, it will be this, okay. So area, it will be for that area is equal to so total, this one, it will be 150. So this height of this 150, hash portion, it is height 150, 150 into 12.5, 12.5. 150 into 12.5. So it will be 1875, 1875 mm square, 1875 mm square, okay? Then Y bar, Y bar here, for this y bar it will be for this y bar it will be 150 divided by 2 so this one it will be 150 divided by 2 so it will be 75 mm 75 mm okay and width it will be here b is equal to put here b is equal to it will be 12.5 mm 12.5 mm okay so it will be get q additional here q additional here put all this value for q additional q additional is equal to yes it is shear force it is 200 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 into area it is 1875 1875 
5 into into y bar it will be 75 mm 75 mm divided by divided by divided by i it is 292 292 point 292.708 into 10 raised to the power 6 6 8, 10 raised to the power 6 into into width it is 12.5 12.5 so it will be get q additional here q additional q additional it will be q additional it will be 200 into 10 to the power 3 into 18 into 75 divided by 292.708 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 6 into 12.5 it will be 7.68 7.68 mp mp okay so q2 value we are calculated i will note down all these value q2 is equal to it will be q2 it will be 44.32 we are calculated this one and q additional i will write down here q additional it will be 7.68 7. 68 mp okay so all these value we are calculated so now q max q max we need to calculate q max q2 plus q additional q2 plus q additional okay so q max Q2 we have calculated. Q2 it will be 44.32. So we are already calculated this one. 44.32. And Q additional it is 7.38. 7.38. Okay. So Q max is equal to Q2 plus Q additional. Okay. So 44.32 plus 7.38. So it will get. 7.68 sorry q additional it is 7.68 so this one it is 7.68 44.32 44.32 7.68 so it will be 52 mpa so q max is equal to 52 mpa okay so now we need to draw the shear stress diagram okay so we need to draw the shear stress diagram for that So Q1 it will be this one it is Q1 and this one it will be Q2 value then Q max okay so same it is for bottom plane this one it will be Q1 And this one it will be Q2 and this one it will be Q additional. Okay. So now this value it will be Q max. So this one it will be Q max. Q max is equal to Q max is equal to is equal to 52 MPA, 52 MPA. Okay. Then Q1 is equal to Q1, it will be calculated 2.77 MPA. And Q2 is equal to here it is Q2. Q2 is equal to it will be 44.32, 44.32 MPA. Okay. So these are the stress diagram for a symmetrical I section. Okay. Same it is for bottom section of bottom for flange and wave it is also same okay because of symmetrical section okay 